Welcome back. Don't miss the next episode of Perspectives with Eric Reynolds. This week's show is called Lock It Up. We're going to learn more about it from the man himself. Eric Reynolds is here with us this morning. Eric, great to see you. Good morning. Glad to be here with you. All right. So Perspectives is taking on this issue of people leaving weapons in their vehicles. And this is such a serious thing, especially here, but all across the country. too. It really is not just happening in our local area where, in fact, though, when you talk about local, we've got guns crossing the different county lines and right. unfortunately some very tragic crimes being committed due to that but it is an issue across the country and, and number one it boils down to gun owner responsibility nobody wants to take the gun away or mm -hmm. actually when we talk to uh, director barber and chief batiste as well as uh, sheriff mack at baldwin county no one wants to take anybody's gun away or restrict anything but we have got to be more responsible in how we take care of our weapons because you're leaving a loaded gun out in front of your house, mm -hmm. your family's inside, and Director Barber makes a couple of points in the uh, program Sunday that just, they're chilling because of what's happening. So in addition to those points, let's talk about, and this is why you have the show, to, to work towards some possible solutions. What are some of the things they're proposing to help reduce the amount of guns that are left in vehicles? Well, the main thing seems to be uh, in our pocket informing the public right. because uh, with what they're seeing they don't want Montgomery to get involved they really don't want the the city to clamp down mm -hmm. on punishing the victim because when someone breaks into your car and steals your weapon you're out of about five six hundred or seven hundred dollars or more they have violated your personal space mm -hmm. and so you're a victim and they don't want to punish the victim so really they're asking us as the media folk and mm -hmm. the whole apparatus of getting the message out Please remind, please tell, please encourage yeah. gun owners to be responsible. Don't leave an unlocked vehicle with a weapon inside and lock that weapon up. Make sure it's in a safe place. Well, since we're talking about vehicles, a similar analogy could be made to people wearing seatbelts. For years, <laughs> getting more and more information, PSAs mm -hmm. out there about how important it is to wear your seatbelt, right. and eventually now everyone gets in the car and they think, okay, I got to click it. Yeah, your, your son, I'm sure, oh, yeah. when he plays driving, the first thing he does is, like Dad, <laughs> he locks the seatbelt up. That's right. And growing up in my generation, there was a uh, commercial about littering, mm -hmm. and a Native American uh, person who was a guy mm -hmm. and he was there encouraging us to not mess up the land and tears came down you may have seen it by now it's run over the years and that made a lasting impression on a lot of folks especially me too a powerful impact and Fox 10 has one of those public service announcements out in regards yes. to this this issue specifically very effective too I got a chance to see it before it aired and it is really touching it uh, gives you an idea of how serious an issue this is what we need to do to make sure the difference of stopping something that we lost Officer Tudor, the weapon that killed him was a stolen weapon. We've had other incidents that happen and so you know law enforcement is behind this thing because it can happen to one of their people and as you see in that PSA, it's Right. us and it could happen to us absolutely tragic when you feel like something like that could have been yes. avoided if people want to learn more perspective airs when and where can mm -hmm. they watch it Eric of course here on Fox 10 on right. Sunday mornings at 730 and we're there every Sunday morning at 730 right after the newscast with Asha Staples and before Chris Wallace and the Fox News program so we've got you in a good little window there 730 Sunday mm -hmm. morning on Fox 10 don't miss it Eric thanks a lot thank you Joe